Yeah. Oh, apparently they still had to, you know, uh, get all the football shirts. But apparently, look at this. I mean, there are so many football shirts. I got myself at least this bag full of shirts. And as you could see, I found so many shirts. It was so cool. There are more in my backpack as well. Uh, that is right. This shirt is signed by some players. And Once again, they had some uh, some tracksuits and some uh, some jackets. They look quite nice, and a lot of templates as well for just 10 euros. But uh, I'm not that interested in uh, in templates right now. So uh, I'll just uh, yeah move on to the next store, which is actually across the street, right here. So uh, yeah, it's nice to not have to walk for half an hour for once. Up next is this second-hand store. Uh, it, it's quite big from the outside, so hopeful to find something. And look at this, they don't have a Benfica scarf hanging here, so I want to find some shirts inside as well. Up next is this vintage factory. The store is quite big. Um, I think they have multiple locations across Holland, so I hope to find something. And there is a cap in the window so <clears throat> once again that doesn't have to mean anything but you know at least one football item has been spotted already So that concludes the Vintage Island uh, store. I found some football shirts, uh, but they were 20 euros each and the Dutch national training shirt is not worth 20 euros. Uh, and especially not this one because it was damaged uh, and the template shirt was 20 euros as well, which I think is just too expensive for, uh, for a simple uh, Adidas uh, shirt. Uh, the Bayern Munich uh, jacket was very cool. Uh, it was 25 euros, which I think is a bit of an okay price, still a bit expensive in my opinion, but um, I decided to leave it there. And up next is actually the Kilo Kilo uh, vintage store, which is like the main reason I wanted to go here. They opened a new store, I wanted to visit that store last week, but unfortunately I got ill, so uh, yeah, that's why I'm here right now. Um, so I'm very hopeful to find something uh, in there, and if I don't, I could always go back to this store or uh, maybe hit some sports stores as well um, so yeah I'm still quite uh, I'm still quite hopeful to at least find something uh, so uh, hey, keep on watching and little did I know that this would turn out to be one of the and if not the best football shirt hunting episode so far keep on watching 
So here it is. Main reason I wanted to go to The Hague. So uh, please don't disappoint me because I haven't found anything all day and this is like my only horse that I bet on. So yeah, let's check it out. So this was the moment that I almost decided to give up, but I did something which I normally don't do and that is ask to uh, check whether there are some football shirts in stock and oh boy, apparently loudmouth do own half the world because this is what happened next. So apparently they still had to, you know, uh, get all the football shirts, but apparently look at this. I mean, there are so many football shirts. I selected a couple of them. This is, this is like my dream. I mean, oh my goodness. I still have to... I mean, I'm allowed to sift through all of these and just check whether I want something. It's, it's uh, I mean, amazing. This is so, so, so cool. One hour later. So, this pile. All the shoes that I'm considering to buy, these are really not. And I still have a lot of blood. This is going to cost me so much money. So, um, I've checked out the entire bag. There were like 100 shirts, maybe more. I've selected this one. Uh, as you can see, it's quite of a full basket. I'll show you guys some of the shirts that I got. Um, and I will decide whether I'm going to buy them or not. I didn't check for product codes, so I have to do that right now. Uh, but I thought to myself, I'm not going to check like 100 product codes because that would take me forever. So I'll show you the shirts that I got real quick. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town I'm searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like a blazing flare Okay, uh, holy shit, oh, that was an amazing experience, I mean, uh, I walked in the store, there were no football shirts hanging on any, on any shelves, on any racks, um, so you know, I walked out because I got a call, I went back inside and then I asked, you know, do you have any football shirts, well, the woman answered yes, uh, but they're still in the bag, so they still have to be, you know, put on the, uh, on the, on the railings, uh, and then I, I mean, I normally don't do that, but I ask her, you know, can I check the bag? Because I'm very interested in just football shirts. Um, uh, by just asking, you know, I got myself at least this bag full of shirts. And as you could see, I found so many shirts. It was so cool. There are more in my backpack as well. Uh, so I basically found myself some very old shirts, you know, some, some jerseys with autographs as well, with amazing name sets on the back. There were some older ones. They're all in great condition as well. 
Um, so I'll just head back home. I bought, I think, 12 or 13 uh, shirts. This was so cool. I mean, look at it. You can see already one Schalke shirt that I bought, but there are so many more, so many very cool shirts. So I'm just, you know, maybe I'll hit some sports stores, but I mean, this, this, my day can't be ruined right now. It's so, so, so sick. Oh, wow. I have returned back home and that means that I'll show you guys these shirts that I got in this video. But I decided to spice things up a little bit because I think that the speed of the video could improve a little bit. So that's why I decided to split up the showcasing of the shirts into two parts. One part will involve the more ordinary shirts and the other part will involve the more extraordinary shirts. So let's start off with the part with the more ordinary shirts. Roll the clip. Right now I will just show you guys the shirts as usual with me just hanging them up. Um, I think that because of the large amount of shirts that are purchased it might be a great thing to do you know maybe it's a bit different but it's at least a bit uh, quicker than usual. So uh, yeah let me know what you think do you prefer the first version or do you prefer the regular version with me just holding up the shirts talking about it and giving you an overlay on screen or maybe a combination. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think uh, because I'm always looking to improve my videos. But with that out of the way, let's start off with the more extraordinary shirts. Let's start off with the first one. The first more extraordinary shirt is this one. And I'm not showing you guys the same shirt once again, because this one has Leroy Sané on the back, which is very cool. It is the same shirt as you previously saw in the other clip. Uh, it is the 2017, no, 16, 17 uh, away shirt. But this time it has Leroy Sané on the back. Very cool, paid five euros and 10 cents for this one. And it's worth... I don't know, between 15 and 25. Uh, I always find it very difficult to, you know, uh, add a value or put a value to shirts with names. I don't know how much it increases the value of the shirt. So, uh, but yeah, overall, pretty cool shirt. It's in great condition. It's a size medium. So uh, yeah, I'm very happy with, uh, with this find. Another shirt that you guys already have seen is this Schalke third shirt from 2010, 2011. But this one has a name on the back as well. Look at this, Raul number seven, very cool, in great condition. The name is applied, uh, still very good. So uh, yeah, I'm very happy with this shirt. Um, paid six euros for this one. It's worth like also 25, maybe 30 because Raul's more of an iconic player. Um, but I don't know, let me know what you guys think uh, this shirt should be worth, uh, what you think of this shirt overall. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with it. I think it's a very cool, uh, cool addition to my collection and I'm, Pretty sure I won't sell this one. Up next is, you guessed it, another Schalke shirt. This time it is the 2011-2013 uh, away shirt with, once again, Raul on the back. I like this design a bit more over the third shirt, but the uh, letters right here saying Schalke and Ophir are a bit damaged or a bit bleached. Um, so the quality overall is a bit less, but the design of the shirt is, is just a bit better. I mean, I do like the... Very little subtle details with the light blue horror uh, vertical stripes, um, which makes which makes it a very cool uh, cool shirt. Paid six euros for this one as well, uh, because of the damage. I would value this at around you know fifteen to twenty twenty five euros. Uh, I'm not that great in it, so you know let me know what you think this shirt is worth. But uh, and which one you prefer, by the way? Do you prefer the darker blue one or the lighter blue one? Uh, I will show you guys the front as well. Uh, let me know which one you prefer because I likely prefer this one because it has a little bit more, uh, just a little bit more details overall. Up next is another Schalke shirt. <laughs> uh, I promise this will be the last one. There are three shirts and they're not from Schalke. Uh, this one has Draxler on the back. Once again, it's a bit damaged right here at the bottom. But uh, yeah, once again, a very cool player. Size medium. The overall quality of the shirt is great. Um, I think the design is also quite nice with the little V shape right here. I get why not everybody likes this, but uh, yeah, overall, pretty good shirt. Played four euros and 80 cents for it, which makes it the cheapest purchase for this video. Moving on to the real big bangers. It is this Inter Milan 2002, 2003 home shirt uh, with of course the iconic Pirelli sponsor, the material, the film, I don't know what it's called. Um, 
but it's quite hard. So there is like a, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a wave imprinted in the shoe because of this sponsor. Uh, so I have to sort that out. There's no name or number on the back, but uh, yeah, I've been looking to get myself a more classical inter shirt for, for quite some time now. And I was so happy when I found this one. I mean, it's a very, very cool shirt with of course their iconic Pirelli sponsor. Very nice little details with the yellow lines right here. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy with this shirt. I paid six euros for this one um, and it's worth, but I think like um, 30, 30 euros maybe. So uh, yeah, but I'm not going to sell this one because it's a very, very cool shirt. And I've been looking for such a shirt for a long time. So I'm gonna keep this in my collection. Up next is another very old shirt, is this Manchester City 2003-2004 uh, away shirt uh, manufactured by Reebok with a very cool sponsor as well. This one as well is very, it's very hard material, you can almost, you know, like grab it physically, the sponsor, uh, which I think is very cool detail. I mean, shirts nowadays always have these heat printed sponsors because it has to look very slick, but uh, I do like it that there's so much details on this sponsor, which makes it, you know, gives it a very iconic uh, feel it's a size large. Uh, I don't know if this is the shirt uh, of which the away shirt from this season is inspired with the you know black and uh, and red uh, diagonal stripes, but uh, yeah maybe. Uh, but another very cool detail about this shirt is the name on the back Fowler number eight, a very iconic player of course. Um, so yeah, I was, I was so so happy when I found this one. Um, yeah, I mean. It was such such a great experience. I mean, it, yeah, it was like a dream come true for me. So thank you so much to Kilo Kilo Tag for you know just letting me uh, purchase items of you. I mean, it's not really a, a great thing. I mean, I just purchased shirts from them. So, but thanks for letting me <laughs> check the bags uh, and uh, making me spend money in your uh, store. Which yeah, very very cool shirt. The quality is very great as well. Uh, so I'm very happy with this one, and I'm not going to sell this one either. And then the final shirt that I purchased for today is another German club, but this time it is Dortmund. This 2011-2012 uh, uh, home shirt manufactured by Kappa, very cool. It's an XX extra large, uh, but that is not the reason why I purchased it, because the real reason is on the back right here. That is right, this shirt is signed by some players, and if you uh, look in a bit more detail, I will overlay it in your guys' screen as well, uh, just to make sure you can properly see it, but it's signed by Kagawa. Right here, it's signed by Bender, uh, Perisic, and another player. I, I'm so sorry, I can't read the name, but um, uh, I don't want to assault anyone. But once again, I was so excited when I found this shirt. I mean, I just kind of freaked out um, because I was like, oh, it's signed, whoa. Uh, but then I realized uh, I'm not able to check whether the players really signed it. I mean, probably they did, uh, but I don't have any proof. So maybe someone uh, just put the autograph on, but then again, why would you then dump it in a bag for a kilo store where the shirt will be sold for five euros, something like that. Um, well, I'm pr pr pretty sure that they are authentic, but I'm not able to prove it. So that's a bit of a bummer, but still, it's so cool to have a shirt with autographs of some very iconic player. So yeah, an amazing find once again. And that will conclude this video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel for more football shirt content and some very important message as well. Some of the shirts you've seen in this video, but also some other shirts from other videos will be sold on my vintage page where you can help me. Why? Because you can get yourself a very nice shirt for a bit cheaper and the money that I get from selling shirts will always be reinvested in future videos or reinvested in my you know, video quality. Maybe buy some lighting, maybe buy another camera, something like that. So whenever you're purchasing a shirt, you're indirectly helping me improve these videos, which makes the entertainment view greater. So you're helping yourself in two ways, by purchasing a very cool shirt and by helping me you know, improve this content for you guys. Only buy when you can afford. I won't judge you for anything, but you know, when you're, looking at these shirts and thinking, oh, well, I would like uh, to purchase one of those. You can always message me uh, or you can check out my vintage page. It will be linked in the description. Only buy when you can afford. It's very important. Things are getting more expensive and don't spend your hard earned money on pieces of fabric when you can't afford it. I would like to stress that very 
very clearly. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Comment down below, by the way, which shirt you think was the best purchase. And I mean, it will be difficult because I can't choose which shirt is my favorite. I mean, the sign shirt is amazing, but then the city shirt is very cool. The Schalke shirt with Raul on the back was a very cool find as well. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think was the best shirt that I purchased. Um, subscribe to my channel for more football shirt related content. The mystery box video is actually coming very, very, very soon. So subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification if you want to be the first to see that video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, the support on the channel has been insane this year. So I would like to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for reaching almost 350 subscribers when I'm recording this. Uh, all the likes, all the comments, all the DMs that I'm getting. It's such an amazing experience to, you know, interact with you guys and share the same passion, which is football shirts. So thank you guys very, very much for the support. It motivates me to keep on going. Um, and it gives me a very, very great feeling. So really, I would like to thank you guys so much for all the support uh, on the channel. And I could not have dreamt about having so much, so many subscribers and so many you know, people interacting with me and commenting and, and, and telling me that they like the video. So that's, that's so, so cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day for yourself. Enjoy the holidays and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.